back with another video. Today's video is a Q&A, and today's Q&A is brought to you for, let's see here, uh, Adam Lands. Uh, he posted a question on my video, electrical, Basic Electrical 101, number 4, and that, uh, that question says this, I'm wondering how fuses are physically installed. It seems each symbol in a circuit has a physical counterpart like the switch and the motor and bulb. What actually is a fuse? Okay, it's a little bit hard to um, answer the question as far as how they're installed because each fuse is going to have its own set of parameters, you know, and, and how it, you know, it's physically built what it's what it's fusing or what it's protecting and, and and therefore you know how it's installed but um for the most part fuses are installed in a fuse block or the the block is what is the physical part of the connection where your wires are connecting and then the fuse inserts into that and this would this here would be an example of a fuse okay this is a big one this is a 40 amp. Typically, this would be used on like a three-phase, um, say, rooftop unit or something like that. Now, you can find these in a residential AC system, but they're usually a lot smaller and smaller diameter, maybe the size of your uh, pinky finger or something. But uh, um, so this would be one style. So what you would have is a block that this would snap into. And depending if it's you know single or, or three phase or whatever, however many you would have. Okay, so that's one type of fuse. Now, um, this also fuses, but it's called a breaker because it breaks the contact when it overloads. It, it will break your contact. Now, this is what is in most houses. This is a 20 amp, and this would be for say an appliance such as a um, um, you know dishwasher or a uh, or a furnace or something of the sort uh, or plug circuits in 20 amps okay now that's this is 110 excuse me I always say 110 it's just the way I was brought up I had a bunch of people give me a bunch of um, uh, constructive criticism on saying 110 I always say 110 I mean 120 okay so 120 volts, plus or minus. But if you say 110, 115, 120, whatever. All right, so this is for a 120 volt circuit. This is a 240 volt circuit. Now, if I say 220, you know what I mean. I always say 220, just because probably when I was brought up in this in this uh, in this field. The old timers that taught me, you know, just kind of carried forward. But anyway, 240. Um, it could even be 230. All right, so this is a two pole breaker, okay? So this would receive L1 and uh, L2, which is your two hots, your line coming in, and it would break. And this would, uh, this is a 30 amp. This would be used for, say, a. Uh, um, uh, a hot water heater, perfect example. You'd run 10 gauge wire, 30 amps, you're good to go. So this is another style. These are two styles of fuses, but they're actually called breakers. And uh, um, uh, most people have these in their house. They might be different color, different shape. They might be inserted sideways like this. Um, the other thing is there's an old style called a uh, pushmatic, and it actually had a push button right here in the center and it would have a little indicator that said on or off so the old push maddox as well okay so these are breakers um, now there's another style that you might find some furnaces will have what's called an SSU switch on the side of it some of the old if it's called a fuse panel in your house as opposed to the breaker panel uh, the fuse panel uh, would typically be like a 60 amp main service coming into your house and there would be little bitty um, fuses that screw in. They look like light bulb, you know, ends on them, and you'd screw those in, and they'd be 15 or 20 amp or time delay or whatever the case may be. And in there as well, they would also have uh, for the 220, they would have a dual one of these with a little pull handle on it. So, all right. 
I'm sorry I don't have any of those fuses to show you. <clears throat> All right, so here's another style of fuse that's used in the industry, and this is this is just I call it a card style fuse. Let's see here if they have a uh, specific. This one's an ATO three. So there's three ampers, and I think I have some. I've had some five amp, but typically most everything is going to be the three amp. And uh, once in a while, especially when you get into the uh, larger um, larger equipment, you will run across the the five amp fuses. But three amp is typical. This is what the old cars used to use. So and, and not anymore. I mean, the newer cars they have these fuses that are like this, but they're a lot smaller. So um, several years ago, uh, you know, if I didn't have a fuse, sometimes I just had to go steal one out of my car and throw it in there and you got to do what you got to do. All right, so physically how do they install? Well I already said you know this one here okay um, with uh, with the power off you are going to see this little clip I don't know if you can see that all right okay that is going to basically snap into a rail and then it's going to push on and this this is going to go onto a little a bar that'll it'll go on the, on the bus bar. So that's how that one installs. Hopefully, that's and this one's the same way. You see, it's got the catch right there, and then the two connections. So you'd stick that on that bar and just push it in. <clears throat> you got to be careful with these because they push in hard. These, there's actually a, a tool that you can use that you can buy that will actually clamps right on here. But you can just use your fingers too, or you can use a pair of channel locks or whatever. Make sure the power's off before you ever try to remove the fuse. Um, pretty self-explanatory. You just grab it and pull it out as far as how these are put it in, whatever. All right, and there's lots of other different styles. There's, there's little bitty uh, glass see-through fuses that have metal ends on them. You see a little bitty wire through it. Now there's those styles as well. Um, very seldom you see those in anything we're doing, but maybe you'll see them in, uh, in some electronics and things of that sort. Um, I don't know. That's pretty much pretty much all I got for the for the fuses and and, and all of that. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, I forgot your name here. Let's see here, Adam. Hopefully, Adam lands. Hopefully that uh, answered your question. Um, Anybody uh, else have questions, comments, uh, please uh, click the like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll uh, see you all in the next video. Thanks a lot. Come on, shut off.